The MCC flight was just extended with some additional content of Halo Reach with some amazing new features for that game added in as well. Some season four content preview along with some sad news actually for season four. The MCC server development update and how this flight that's going on right now will not be the last flight for the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content. As we do at the end of every month, we get a nice big boy update about the MCC, what is going on right now and what's gonna be coming in the future. So Sketch went online and posted this big long development update for you guys to read through. If you want to, the link in the description down below, but this video will give you the TLDR of everything you need to know. So yes, you heard me correctly. The flight was extended from November 2nd was the original end date to now Friday, November 6th is going to be the final day for the flight as they added in Halo Reach with this flight and the new additions with Halo Reach are absolutely awesome. The new features being uncapped frame rate improvements for Halo Reach, crossplay has been enabled for Halo Reach's multiplayer and firefight modes, per title control and video settings for Halo Reach, as well as player emblems now appear in Halo Reach gameplay. And I tested this out earlier, guys, about the unlimited frames, and they're super smooth. You can actually run Halo Reach above 60 frames and it will look good. This is probably the biggest handicap when it came to bringing the MCC to PC, and especially it being Halo Reach for the first game, that when you expect to play on PC, you kind of expect to get above 60 frames. That's kind of like the benefits of playing on PC. And have it looking so poorly was definitely a downgrade. Now they actually play out super well, but this actually wasn't the only upgrade for Halo Reach. They actually saw a weapon model view adjustment take effect as well. So as you can see in the video, this is the retail version of Halo Reach. And you can see that when I put the things up to crosshairs to be in the center, that the weapon takes up like half your screen. It's quite annoying actually and it's the main reason why i like to use lowered crosshairs when playing halo reach and various other games as well but now in the flight they actually changed the view model now to where if you put the center crosshairs it kind of just more angles it up rather than actually just moving the whole gun model up which actually is pretty much perfect like you know i know we talked about having uh weapon model adjustments you know manual adjustments being taken place into the mcc but honestly if the view models look like this, then honestly, I have no issue with not adding in a, like a view model slider. If it just, you know, adjusts the weapon models to be looking like this and not take up so much of your screen, then I think it's a win. Plus it saves on a lot of development time that could be used on other areas of the MCC, like bug fixing and the custom server browser. Talking about the custom game browser, there were some development updates in here. So Sketch here in the blog post asks a question about where is the custom browser? What's the current update on it right now? And is it gonna release with Halo 4's launch onto PC? And they reply back saying, Custom Game Browser is making some progress and we can now host and join games in our internal development builds. From there, we plan to launch this feature into future flight or community feedback. We're looking to bring this feature online in the coming months. I see this in the comment section a lot, guys. You guys ask about that custom game browser. I definitely want to know where it is as well because there's so many classic MCC, classic Halo custom games to play, guys. Like you really only play in custom game. You can't really play them in matchmaking. And I'm really looking forward to this feature. I would not expect it to come in November, maybe early December, if not, or February. It's probably when we will see this be brought in. We've brought this up previously in other videos, guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll let you guys know as soon as that we get some more information on the custom game browser. An interesting response to one of the questions here saying one of these things 343 has not mentioned in the dev blogs regarding the server browser if 343 will be providing some sort of headless server tool to that would allow players to host their own dedicated servers. This is something that already exists in Custom Edition, Halo 2 Vista, and El Dorito. An interesting answer here, they say, the custom game browser will require a minimum number of players to run and all games will be public at game launch. There is a lot of additional work to be done to allow for flexible game creation on dedicated servers and we will be updating the feature over the time based on community feedback. Now the reason why I say this is interesting because I think what they mean more is about like kind of 
um, matchmaking in a way kind of server browser like you see on PC normally where you'd be able to play games and earn XP but they mentioned about the custom game browser which I think is something a little different same idea you'll be searching servers within a browser and so that does kind of make sense what they how they make that correlation but I think they mean more about like XP tied matchmaking kind of games but like with a server browser compared to just a custom game browser really awesome thing as well guys is that the uh, Xbox launch party event that we've been kind of hinting at it's been rumored finally was confirmed today and the MCC will get a feature in this uh, event as well it's taking place on November 10th and I believe at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time within the US so guys make sure you block out some time on your calendar to watch this because there is also rumors of Halo Infinite being revealed as well on this event now there's a section in this blog update that kind of goes into a Q&A with the community as well so there's gonna be a rapid fire amount of questions here guys so let's get right through it you've enabled double XP with past content releases but there was not any with the release of Halo 3 or ODST on PC are double XP periods still something we can expect in the future and they reply back saying we are absolutely going to continue running double bonus xp periods please keep an eye out for several of these in the near future are you able to comment at this time on halo custom edition maps making their way into mcc if i'm one day able to play yolo rast island via matchmaking or custom game browser i will die a happy man max replies back saying we would love to find a way to allow more modded content to run in Halo MCC, we will have more updates on modding in the coming months. Keep in mind, they also mentioned about Halo Online content coming into the MCC. Now, is it coming in Season 4 of the MCC? We don't know. Again, I'll let you guys know as soon as we have more concrete information on those details. Can we be expecting Halo 2 to be receiving expanded customization options similar to CE and 3 anytime soon? Hearing that Halo 3 and Reach are the focus for season four has me curious about Halo 2's status. Max replies back saying, we do not currently have plans to add additional customization to Halo 2, but we are planning future season content and will evaluate all games as we look to bring new items in. And I've been seeing that along as well. A lot of people are asking, where is the Halo 2 content updates? You know, how come there's no customization for Halo 2? Maybe it's just the workflow for Halo 2. I mean, we do know at that the engine for Halo 2 is quote unquote held together by duct tape and popsicle sticks, basically. Like it's it's not a very clean engine to work with. So I can imagine the developers going, you know what, if we touch anything with Halo 2, it's probably gonna fall apart. So maybe not deal with that. And we've brought this up in previous videos as well that they mentioned about GRD and various other new additions of armor customization coming to Halo Reach. The, you know, fabled GRD that's been locked away for the past 10 years we haven't had a chance to utilize yet and it was supposed to come in season 4 but maybe not so much or just for reach in general. 343 goes on forward and explaining it saying I'll start with a bit of unpleasant news though we have decided to remove the Halo Reach customization pieces from Halo 4's launch. Don't worry they're still coming if all goes well we're currently targeting next season. The reasoning behind this is that we hit difficulties standing up to the content pipeline needed to fully ingest these pieces into Halo Reach, and it just needs more dev time. We need to make a tough call here, but to mitigate risks for the upcoming launch, it was the right call to make. We have a ton of new content coming in Season 4, so while I know this will disappoint many of you, there will be plenty to enjoy. One day, you'll get that GRD. One day. Which, yeah, that's a big bummer. I was really looking forward to Halo Reach customization. I would say right now in the MCC that probably Halo 3 is my most played, then probably Halo Reach soon after that. Maybe a mix of Halo 2 anniversary as well. I know a lot of you are really looking forward to being able to use GRD and those additional Halo Reach armor sets, but it looks like we'll have to wait until Season 5 until that happens. An update on PC file share. Coming up here, guys, saying file share development on PC continues, and we plan to bring this feature online in the coming months as we iron out the remaining tooling needs. Now, a very interesting question here, talking about ray tracing in the MCC coming by someday, and they don't necessarily rule it out. In a response saying, I'm personally excited to see what we can do with the power of this new hardware in the future. 
talking about the Xbox Series X. The complexity and scope of MCC poses unique challenges that I am willing to learn about, but I love the opportunity it offers for how we can roll out new features and enhancements in the future. One thing I have already learned here is that this team listens to the community as a crucial element to our planning. I love that I am excited to see what we can do together in the future. Well, the reason why they bring this up is because we do know that the MCC is going to get a update on November 17th, bringing it up to like 4K, 120 FPS for the Xbox Series X. Now, I'm sure they'll definitely showcase those new features on the November 10th update for the launch Xbox party event thing, which we definitely will cover on this channel, guys, for sure. Along with the Season 4 information, guys, they do talk about how the DLC armor for Halo 4 isn't going to be able to make it into the Season 4 update, though they do plan to release that later on in the future. But they do also mention that the new weapon skins that they have from like the Champion series, which is going to be in Season 4, here's some awesome images you can check out right now, looking pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. The cool thing is that you'll be able to use those weapon skins in Spartan Ops as well, which is pretty cool to know that you'll be able to bring in some customization not only your Spartan, but also for your weapon as well. We also have a great shot of a Warthog with the Corrosion skin on it as well. Again, like a pretty much a figure we have something kind of similar when it comes to customization, but it's good to know that we will have some Halo 3 vehicle customization coming in next season. No word on the gold BR, but I'd be very surprised if that doesn't come in next season. And that does about it right now for the MCC development update. We're going to break this video up into two parts because they have a whole nother section of things that are actively in development coming soon and what's kind of on the back burner. We'll make that into our separate video for our next video, guys. So if you want to catch that one, make sure you catch subscribe to the channel, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Link in the videos for my most recent content if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.